Hi friends, this is Lila. Welcome to my React JS course. In this video, we will try to learn another hook that is nothing but the use effect. So, what is this use effect? Use effect is used is used for the performing the side effects in the functional components. So, for example, most probably what you can think is use effect is nothing but it is mostly used for the component life cycles. Okay, so in the component life cycles, if uh, in the class components, we will be using component life cycles like component did mount component did update component unmounted these things we are using right so for most of the things for per, for performing those uh, life cycle hooks in the functional components so we will be using this use effect so let's try to see in a practical example where this use effects actually will be doing okay as this what we can say is as this functional component doesn't have an instance so we will be not having any methods to execute it execute it so that is the reason we will be using another side effect that is nothing but the use effect so this is the use effect and use effect will take method okay use effect will take a method so use effect when it takes a method now let's try to do console.log or otherwise what i will try to do is i will try to write document dot title is equal to count colon plus count i can give like this okay counter so this is the use effect so now this use effect when it will fire is whenever this component is mounted okay whenever this component is mounted and also whenever any variable any any state variable that is that is de declared with the use state so it is updated this use effect will be fired now let's try to see in a simple example here so now here i will be refreshing this one if you refresh this code automatically if you try to see here in the title bar the count is zero has been came now when i click on the increment immediately see the document the title the meta title is also is getting updated in the web page so that means this use effect is firing for every when the component is first initial mounted and also for a subsequent updates happening to the state variables so for example if i try to do some console here console dot log fires on mounted and also update okay on also update now if you try to see a console if you if i try to refresh this one here i am able to see that fires on mounted and also update so that means when this component is mounted we are able we are able to fire this one now i click on this button so when i am clicking on this button the counter variable is got updated now if i click on this button see here it is again firing fires on mounted and also update so our first full first requirement is fulfilled so that means use effect when it will be firing when you draw normally declare like this it will fire on subsequent so here we can write like this subsequent uh, when when component or otherwise like this we will write component mounted and update okay so this this type of use effect will be used for the component you need to understand that component did mount okay and this one is component did update so this is the first f use effect now these use effects we can use in a different scenario something like this okay so for example i want this component to be executed only when the component is mounted i don't want this use effect to be executed on updates so if you want like this means so let's write write another use effect we can write as many use effects we want okay so we can write in, in this one also but for clarity purpose i am writing so this one when component only mounted so this one will fire only when it is mounted now if i try to copy this one as we already know that here we are giving here this one will fire on mounted and updated right so here it will take a second parameter and we need to give it as an empty array okay so when we give it as an empty array this empty array what it will try to do is this empty array takes the variables okay which are declared by the use state variables these are all the variables and if you mention this use uh, variables here only when those variables updated only this use effect will be fired normally in mounted it will be fired and also when you mention whatever the variables you want here so only when those variables only updated only then this one will fire or otherwise it will not fire now if you mention this array as an empty so we are not mentioning any variable so that means the update doesn't happen so whenever any variable update ha happens here this use effect will not at all fire so that means 
it will fire only when the component is mounted and in the update it will not fire anything so if you doesn't want to if you want to uh, fire this one and all updates any variable if it is updated means you can remove this array array empty array or otherwise if you want if you want to fire only in the only in the mounted means you can do this one so now what i will try to do here i will try to refresh this one okay now here if i try to see here i am able to see fires on mounted and also update Fi okay we have copied two times right fires only on mounted okay i can remove this one now if you try to see here i will try to refresh okay fires on mounted and also update fires only on mounted so first time component is fire component is mounted so that is the reason two times it is able to display now what i will try to do here i am clicking on increment see here what it is firing only fires on mounted and also update so only this use effect is firing so this use effect is not firing okay so that means we have achieved that only component did mount also we have achieved using this use effect okay now you uh, what we can say use uh, using this uh, component did update we have also did the uh, we are uh, using this use effect like this component did update also we have did and now uh, another two things what will be remaining is so when component unmounted right so when component unmounted and also when component what i can say only updated so only updated only it has to fire so when mounted it should not fire only when the component is updated only the method i need to fire so these two scenarios also we can we can uh, we can use it using this we can do it using this use effect side hook okay let's try to see it in the next video so this when component unmounted and these things by using this side, uh, use effect side effect we can we can do the component unmounted and also the component only updated we can fire the logic also okay let's try to see it in the next video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel Thank you.